Ah, it took me only two hours. Oh, it broke. Yep. This engine is not that bad. In today's video, we are talking about most common N42 oil leaks. As an example, we're gonna use a 160,000 kilometer N42 B18A engine that is laying right here on the floor from the silver E46 compact that is my second ever flip project. And second ever flip project that is E46 compact that is silver. Okay. N42s are notorious for oil leaks and yeah this one is no exception I did everything I wanted with the car but then I discovered that it's leaking oil pretty like super hyper very super bad therefore I took the engine out of the car because I got pissed and <laughs> which happened yesterday and today we are re-gasketing almost the whole thing now I'm gonna start with the um, rear main seal and that is not because it's leaking. Actually rear main seal is not the worst in this engines. This one is a little bit dirty but it's most probably dirt from oil pan gasket and that is leaking. Uh, so we're gonna read since I need to cover rear of the engine to put it on engine stand we're gonna take care of that. First, then we're gonna move on to places where it's really leaking oil. If you don't know what rear main seal is, it's a seal that is sealing oil from getting out um, from the place where we have the end of our crankshaft. Now to replace it, you have to take the gearbox out from the car, then the clutch, flywheel, etc. First thing I'm gonna do is, w is wash the surrounding area so no debris gets into the engine then we're gonna take the old gasket the seal out and put in the new one Now the problem is that the old seal did not came out in one piece, it left a lot of rubber behind it and yeah I have to scrape it off somehow and my plastic scraper is nowhere to be found. So I need to search for it and do it with it because razor blade, since it's an aluminum block, razor blade could destroy it. took me only two hours uh, yeah I used old seal to bash in the new one uh, also usually they come with some sort of a plastic that allows you to slip the new seal on which is a lot easier than what I had to do um, and last time I did it it came with that ring plastic ring but this time it didn't but it's finally done. Now we can put the N42 on the engine stand and be happy that we did so little. It's funny that the seal that literally was good, but I replaced it just because I bought the set. Took me two hours. I think the rest will take me less time.
Now you see the N42 engine, famous for its valvetronic and leaking oil. Both things people hate. So I'm not sure it's a good thing to be famous for. But that's what we are working with today. We already replaced the rear main seal that is right now covered by the engine stance holder thing. And it's time to tell you a little bit more about what leaks on those engines. Let's start with the most common oil leak, which is rocket recover gasket. This thing's lifespan is 50,000 kilometers, which on one side isn't bad, but on the other, if they could make it 150, you would change the gasket every time you change timing and you'd be all set. No harm done because you have to take the cover anyways. But they didn't and it's pissing people off. Solution, take your valve cover off, check if your gasket is plastic or rubber because um, rubber turns into plastic, well, not into plastic, but it behaves like plastic, it cracks when it's very old. If it's not old, just add a uh, gasket maker, RTV, Dirko, whatever you are using, whatever you like, seal the heck of it and you'll be all set. In my opinion, this is the most common oil leak, but it's really fighting for its first place together with other two places. My camera died and before I can try charge my battery, it's gonna take some time. So I wanna tell you about, like I said, two other places where N42 likes to leak that are like very close second and third to the rocker cover gasket. And let's start here. So I took the wiring out of here <laughs> so you could see better, but uh, right here we have Vano solenoid one and two and the intake cam sensor, exhaust cam sensor. They have O-rings inside and they all like to leak. This is super simple to replace. I already did that actually, so I'm not gonna do it today, but just to show you how easy is that. All you need is a 10 millimeter right here and here. You take the bolt out, this spring or whatever it is comes off. Now you can pry a little bit with a screwdriver gently and this thing, both solenoids will come off. For the sensors, it's a little bit different story because right here we have a, because right here we have a hex bolt. I believe it's H5. And after you unbolt this, it's gonna come off downwards. Then you obviously replace O-rings and put everything back in. Um, it's gonna work. Trust me. The other thing that we have to do today because it's leaking is a freaking oil filter housing. So right here, it may not look that bad, but if we go on the other side, you can already tell there's oil here, there, everywhere. It's leaking from underneath here where it's facing the block. And if I'm being honest, I completely forgot about this gasket, but I'm not gonna let it stop me today. I'm gonna replace all the others. If I'm not able to use RTV to seal this, I'm gonna just leave it out uh, because I can put it in very easily while the engine is in the car. All you have to do is again, 10 millimeter bolts to here, one here. This comes out and while you're at it, you can also try to seal the oil cooler. So this is where your coolant goes to cool your oil. You have oil galleries in this cooler here and it just helps your oil stay cool. Hey, good news. Turns out I was smarter than I thought I am and I bought a set with this gasket so we can replace it today. That's awesome. And put it back on. <sighs> Let's go.
Boom. Oh, it broke. Yep. See, that's what I mean when I say that things uh, that the rubber is plastic. It it cracks. It's not rubbery anymore. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. This is a vacuum pump. It helps you break. And it's another point of N46 that is prone to leaking. Not only the vacuum itself, the pump is leaking, but its connection with the head. Now, this has been sealed, but I think we have a new gasket, which we will use uh, sealing like we did, did previously. So, um, cleaning everything, adding new gaskets to the part and then a little bit of a gasket maker. I have Dirko uh, on the surface where it, the part meets with the head. Then bolt it in, call it done. Okay, and that would actually be it. There are other places where the engine can potentially leak, but this engine is not that bad. I'm sure I mentioned oil pan gasket, uh, which I'm going to replace later, but um, I need to replace the front paint seal, so I have to take the uh, rocker cover off again, retime the engine, and then put it in the car. I don't want to do that in this episode. It was only about the most common leaks on the N42 engines. Uh, this engine is not that bad as people think. The one thing that is certain is it's very oil sensitive. You need to buy good quality, good oil like uh, with the LL04 norm standard and it's gonna last a pretty long time if you don't trash it. Now I think I'm running out of the space on the memory card so thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!